This is the Tozer. And this is where she lives. She lives in a village called Matuba in Mozambique. Totoza is 12 years old, and she's a lot like you. She enjoys playing with her friends, she likes making things, and she also enjoys school. When Totoza's parents died, it was up to her grandmother to look after her and her sister. Now the community in Matuba helps them all. Caritas Australia helps too. Most of the time, Mozambique is sunny and hot. The roads in Matuba are made of dirt, so it can get very dusty in dry weather. Datosa has lived in this village all of her life. My house is made of mud bricks. The roof is made of iron. My house has one door in one window. Datosa sleeps on a mat on the floor of her house with her grandmother and her sister. Every morning, she rolls up the mat and gets ready for the day. Cooking and cleaning dishes and other household chores are done outside. From her door, Datosa can see other houses, a tree, a goat, and the rack where she leaves washed plates to dry. She can also see a plant called aloe vera. Her grandmother uses the inside of its leaves to heal cuts. In a village near Matuba, there are some children who have no houses at all. Caritas and the community help them to make bricks and build the bricks into houses for them. Every child has the right to a safe place to live. See what else you can find out about the rights of the child. Water is very precious. We use water for so many different things. We couldn't live without water. In Mozambique, especially in Matuba, people know just how precious water is. Children like Datosa have to be very careful about how they use water. In the year 2000, there was a big flood in Matuba. Most of the time though, it's very hot, especially in summer, and the land gets very dry. Away from the towns, there are no pipes to supply water to taps and toilets in houses. Many people have long and difficult journeys to fetch water far away from their houses. People in Datosa's village use toilets like this. Basically, it's a deep hole in the ground surrounded by a screen. It is not fair that a third of the world's population don't have toilets and many communities don't have access to clean water. In Matuba, a community leader called Mama Casilda talked to Caritas Australia about what the community could do to make things better. Caritas Australia helped the community to install a water pump and a storage tank at the Matuba Children's Centre. Pipes from the centre also take water to two taps in the village, including this one, 500 metres from Datosa's house. Caritas also helped the community to build toilets and showers at the centre. Now the children don't get sick as often as they used to. When they've been to the toilet and before eating, the children use clean water and soap to wash their hands. Toza walks 500 metres to the tap and 500 metres back home to collect 25 litres of water. You could do a sponsored walk to help people who don't have clean water near their houses. This is a maize plant. You might know it as corn. One meal made from maize is shima. In Mozambique, lots of people eat shima every day. It is made out of maize and water. People in Mozambique spend a long time making shima. First, they grind the husk off the maize grains. Then they beat the water into the maize. Then they boil and stir it. Preparing a pan of shima takes hours, but it can feed a family for three days. 
The children at the Matuba Children's Centre grow maize in their garden at the centre. They grow lots of vegetables at different times of the year. As well as maize, the children also grow sweet potatoes, tomatoes, peanuts and manioc, which is a bit like sweet potatoes or yam. Everybody works together to ensure that there's enough healthy food for everyone. The children don't use chemicals to make their plants grow big and strong. Chemicals can damage the soil. They use chicken poo. They wash the veggies very well before they eat them. There is also a community farm at Matuba, owned by the church. Some of the crops provide food for the children's centre and for other groups. Some crops are sold to buy new seeds and tools. This makes the farm sustainable. Caritas has also funded a chicken project so that the children can raise chickens to sell. Sometimes they have chicken for dinner. Every day, volunteers from Matuba community help prepare a healthy lunch for the children at the centre. Today, they are having mixed vegetables and rice. See what you can find out about different foods from around the world. It doesn't matter who you are or where you live, school is very important. Every morning at 6 o'clock, Detoza begins her journey to school. It's four kilometres away from her home. In Mozambique, most boys spend 10 years in school and girls, 8 years. This is Matuba School, where Detoza is in grade 6. School starts at 7am and it finishes at lunchtime. Each lesson is 45 minutes long and has an average of 65 students and one teacher. Her classroom has broken walls, no electricity and no chairs or desks. But this doesn't stop kids like Detoza from getting an education. This is Detoza's Portuguese teacher, her maths teacher and this is her science teacher. Detoza is a good pupil. She's never late to arrive at school and she's not afraid to ask questions if she's unsure of something. Some of the subjects I study are Portuguese, Mathematics and Science. I like maths the most because I quickly understand it. In Mozambique, it is free to attend school up until grade 8, but students have to buy uniforms and pencils and exercise books. Because of Caritas Australia's support, Matuba Children's Centre can supply these for the children. Detosa can go to the centre for lunch after school and receive extra help with her study. The children also learn other subjects and skills. Most of these children don't have parents at home, so the centre makes sure that there's always someone around to lend a hand with education. I feel great when I'm here in the centre because I learn lots of different things. Just like you, Datoza also gets homework. On Monday they give us maths homework, on Tuesday they give us Portuguese and science, and on Thursday they give us three lots of homework. I hope that in the future I will be able to study like now, also that I will find work. I may be a maths teacher or a nun. I like writing because it's good. Everything that we do at school is good for me. It's not fair that 61 million children cannot go to school and others have to study in classrooms like Detoza's. To find out some of the reasons why children can't go to school, you could play the board game from Caritas Australia's website. In Mozambique, one person in every 10 people has HIV. HIV is a virus. Sometimes people with HIV become sick with an illness called AIDS. They might even die. The Children's Centre in Matuba helps children who need support because their parents have passed away or are no longer able to look after them. I'm here at the centre because my parents have died. It's a good place to be because it helps me. Some of Detosa's friends have had HIV from when they were born. At the centre, 
Adults and children learn how HIV is passed on and how to stay safe and healthy. The centre also provides medicines for people who are sick. When they have problems, Datoza and her friends can talk to adults at the centre. They also do activities and learn new skills. When they grow up, they can use these skills to earn a living. For now, the things they make pay for expenses like food and medicine. At the centre, they also learn about hygiene or how to keep clean. I teach the children that they must always be clean. For example, when they arrive here, they must wash and they mustn't eat without washing their hands. Good hygiene means that the children get fewer diseases. They wash away the germs that live in dirt. Dirty hands can lead to illnesses like diarrhoea that can be very dangerous. Having toilets at the centre also helps to make the land around the centre a much cleaner and healthier place to be. It's not fair that many people living in developing countries have less protection from diseases than we do. After this video, why not find out about world leaders' plans to fight diseases in developing countries? Through Caritas Australia, you are helping children in Mozambique and in many other countries to have enough to eat, to have clean water and healthcare, to go to school and grow up as strong and happy members of their communities. You are helping them to open doors to a better future. Thank you.